Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are doing some more um, AP Calculus. This is the free response questions from the 2006 exam. So uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, this is still the calculator portion of the exam, by the way. So the graph of the function f above consists of six line segments. Let g be the function given by this. Find g of r. Hmm, I don't think you need the calculator for this. Oh well. Um, let g be given by this function. Find g of 4, g prime of 4, and g double prime of 4. Okay, so g of 4, by definition, is the integral from 0 to 4, f of t dt. Right, just plugging in here. The integral from 0 to 4 of f of t dt is the area of 4 between 0 to here. So I want to look at this area and this area separately. And I want to break out these two areas and then... Um, this is negative area and this is positive area. So this is a triangle base, uh, let's see, height two, base with one. So one half times two times one is one, but it's negative because it's under the x-axis. And I'm going left to right on the integral, zero to four. And then this, there's two ways you can really do this. You could either break it up into two triangles and a rectangle or do the trapezoid which is, uh, I average the two bases, which is this is three and this is one. So that's the sum of the two bases, or this is, I think it was averaging the bases, and then the height of this is two. So that's gonna equal uh, eight divided by two is four, four minus one is three. So g of four is equal to three. g prime of x, Let's find g prime of x. Well, the derivative of this is just simply equal to f of x by fundamental theorem of calculus. When I take the derivative of this kind of integral, um, I just get rid of the integral. So g prime of 4 is just equal to f of 4. And the value of the function at, at 4 is 0. So that's equal to 0 there. So g prime of 4 is 0. And finally, g double prime of 4 is equal to, well, it's just the derivative of this one. It's the derivative at 4. And the slope here is just the slope of this line, the derivative slope, right? Um, I drop down 4, I go over 2, so it's negative 2. That's what the slope of that line is. Okay, B. Does G have a relative min, max, at I, or neither at x equals 1? Okay, at x equals 1, um, to be a relative min or max, I need to know what the G prime g prime of x, g prime at 1 uh, is equal to f of 1, which is equal to 0. So that means that 1 is a critical point. And then the second question is, is uh, what's the second derivative at 1? That's f prime at 1. And this is a positive slope. It's positive slope. So by the second derivative test, I have a critical number. Its slope is 0. Uh, its second derivative is positive. So that means it's concave up. So that makes it a minimum. See, concave up is second derivative is upward. It's positive, right? Suppose that f is defined for all real numbers x and is periodic with a periodic length phi. Okay, so that means this just repeats over and over, I think. The graph above shows two periods of f. Given that g of 5 equals 2, find g of 10 and write an equation for the line tangent to the point of g. Okay, so g of 5 is equal to 2. g of 10 is the integral from 0 to 10 of f of t dt. So I wanted to go the area from 0 all the way out to 10, which would be a second one out here, right? Because it has a period of 5. So I'm just repeating a second one. They tell you that g of 5 is equal to 2. So they're, they're telling you that this area for the first period is 2. So when I do two areas, it's going to be double that, because it's just going to be the area of this plus the area of this, which is going to be 4. Okay. Write an equation for the line tangent of the graph at x equals 108. Well, first, whenever I want to find the equation of a tangent line, um, I always want to use point slope. Y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught. Okay, so I need to know both two. I need to know the x y value and I need to know the slope. Let's do the x y values easier. Well, I know x naught has to equal 108. Y naught is where the point it hits the graph is equal to. Um, g of 108. 
that's the ing growth from 0 to 108 f of t dt. Now I'm going to have to reason this out a little bit. When I go at 108, um, each one has a period of 5, so that means I'm going to go over the area up to like 100, like I can do it as the area from 105 f of t dt plus the integral from 105 to 108. And the reason I do this is because I know that this is going to be just, um, how many periods is it going to be? It's going to be 21 whole periods. And so the area of 21 whole periods is 21 times 2, because one period we decided the area was 2. So I'm going to do 21 of them. And then I'm going to integrate from 5 to 8, uh, 105 to 108, which is really from here, and I go over 3 to here. OK. So I think this area cancels out this area. Like if you think about this negative area canceling out this negative area. So really, um, this part of the integral, when I'm just going, is really just this area. That's a width 1, height 2, so plus 2. So this is going to be um, 42 plus 2, or 46. So my point is going to be 108 comma 46. Now I need to know the slope. Because it's a tangent, I just need the derivative at 108, right? And that's equal to just f at 108. And similar to before, we just say like the 105, it repeats every 5. So I subtract at 105, it's really, this is equal to f of 3 because it's periodic. So f of 3 is equal to um, 2. So the slope is 2, right? g prime at 108 is equal to 2. So then I have y minus 46 is equal to 2 times x minus 108. Okay. So let's see how we did compare to the answers. 3, 0, negative 2. Is that what I got? 3, 0, negative 2. Good. Um, it's a relative minimum because it changes from negative to positive. Or you could have used second derivative test. The answers are not as complete, it seems like, for these exams. Um, g of 10 is 4. So what I found, 4, and then uh, y minus 44 is equal to 2 times x minus 108. Oh, 44. Did I do this wrong? Oh, this is 42 plus 2. I should use a calculator. This is 44. Duh. Okay, so minor um, arithmetic mistake. So um, hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.